All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD, or Application and Website Development Program, and in particular the AWD 1111.NET Framework with Web Databases class for the fall 2019 semester, I've been doing a series of video presentations based on the textbook that will be used for the AWD 1111 class. That textbook, the one shown on screen, ProASP.NET MVC5 in a press text by Adam Freeman. And I am on the middle of page 777 as we work our way through the 27th and last chapter that's in the book. All right. The author says the next step is to use Knockout to replace the editor partial view. Once again, we could have updated the partial view to contain Knockout functionality, but the author chose to include everything in the index.cshtml file. So let's look at that in, these, in this section scripts. Change it if we have to. So in here, we want to add editor, whoops, name, ko dot observable with the empty string passed in. Location ko dot again observable with again the empty string passed in. All right, I don't think I made any mistakes there see as we go on. In fact, the index.cshtml is on 777 and 778, so why don't we just copy that in? To create the editor, we have used Knockout in a different way. And again, the author will try to explain to you what is going on here. All right. So let's take it kind of from the top here, where we're in here. We need to collect two pieces of information from the user in order to create a new reservation in the repository, the name of the client, which corresponds to the client name property, and the location, which corresponds to the location property. The first step is to extend the model so that we define variables that we can use to capture these values. All right. The ko.observable function creates an observable value which we can use later on in the chapter. Changes to these values will be reflected in any bindings that use the name and location properties. The next step then is to create 
the input elements through which the, class, the user will supply values for the new model properties. We have used the knockout value binding in here to do that. We use the click binding to handle the click event from the button element displayed under the input elements as shown on the bottom of page 789 and the top of page 780. The event handler, it says here, calls the send AJAX request function. The callback adds the newly created data object sent back from the server in the model. We send an object containing the new model properties to the send AJAX request function, which has been extended so that we can send them to the server as part of the AJAX request using the data action property. So I'm going to do a file save all here. Why? Because the author tells us Again, I'm on page 780. Starting the application, entering a name and a location, and clicking the Save button. So, Bob, meeting, room two, save. Not quite what they show, but similar to what's shown on towards the bottom of page 780. We could put this in, but when I click save, this did not come up. All right, starting on the bottom of page 780, then completing the application. But once again, I'm getting close. So since completing the application is kind of at least, as far as I can tell, the last section in here, we'll put that into its own section, and that should be the concluding lecture from the textbook. So I'll be back with the last, hopefully, lecture on Chapter 27, the rest of the book, shortly.